Hello everyone, welcome to KD Self Proof Kitchens and um, thanks for joining me today. Today I'm going to show you how to bake the most uh, fun and pretty pretty uh, cookies here. So I just got back from Paris uh, like a week ago and I'm super super excited um, to bring this um, together to make this video to show you how to make the raspberry french macarons and as you know it's not easy uh, one to make uh, because it has a very picky in terms of temperature how you whips how you prepare the merengue um, but hopefully with my video you'll be able to successfully baking the cake okay so don't don't give up so keep on trying Okay, so let's get started to um, get our ingredients together here. So I pre-measured to save time for us here. So you will need like, you know, to age your eggs white here. So I left the eggs out about a day or so or two is okay. So I got here like about 82 grams of the egg whites here. And for the uh, granulated sugar, I used the C&H brand. Um, I had I measured out about 80 grams of the uh, confection sugar here. And um, for the... Uh, almond flour so i chose the costco brand it's very fine already so i don't have to put in the food processor again but if you can't get the fine one you can also put the food processor to help grind down so a little bit more um fine like this one here and for the um confection sugar here so i got this uh granulated sugar and this is the confection sugar CNH brand here. Um, they both the same brand, but this one I measured out about 125 grams, and same thing for this one, 125 grams of the almond flour here. So I'm gonna put it here. So we're gonna start our merengue. Um, so the wet ingredient first, and I'm gonna do the time for you and the speed, so you have an idea. Um, but of course, um, the temperature and your oven is a little bit different, so we're gonna have to work on it. Okay. So let's get started with our merengue here. All right, so we wanna put in our egg white here. Just pour it in. And we're gonna whip it um, for about three minutes to get you know starting already. And we at um, speed three here. of course let's give us a speed three about three minutes or so mm. and I'm gonna move the camera closer so you can um, see it so hold on so about three minutes I'm gonna increase in the speed here so when you start She's not seeing the liquid anymore. You're gonna start to add in the um, cream tartar, one fourth teaspoon. So now you, you don't really see the liquid on the bottom here, so it's been about a minute here when I increase the speed. We're going to add in the granulated sugar, so add about half of the granulated sugar in and increasing the speed. For another minute here. One you see is forming a marshmallow-ish light, so it's about to be ready. Uh, we want it for the macaron, we wanted a stiff pick, and I'm going to show you the pick that we're looking for.
just about a minute. I'm gonna add the rest of the sugar in. And I'm gonna increase the speed. Okay, now. to add in the uh, vanilla extract here. gel color. We want to have a gel form so you don't ruin the chemistry of um, I think it's about two one drops. Good. Pretty shaky here because the table is not very sturdy. I'm increasing the maximizer here. In about 10 seconds, we're going to stop and check out our pick here. So let's check our pick. Ah, it's pretty stiff here. So look at that, it's pretty stiff, right? So... So that looks pretty good here. Um, so we can stop here, but you see that has that hook here. I'm gonna try to give another like maybe five seconds because we don't want, we want like a stiff one, okay? Another five seconds here. If I can put this in. Give it five seconds. That was fast. Alrighty. Alright, so let's check out our pick again. Okay, so this will do. We're gonna take this one here and we're gonna start to fold in our flower here. So I measured a time just for your reference but of course um, you have to check a pick and you want to like I said a stiff pick okay? so depend on your temperature the weather if it's too wet or too hot it will change So they said if you can turn around and it's not dropping, it's good. So I'm gonna put it here. We're gonna mix in our almond flour and the confection sugar.
All right, guys, so it's time to fold in our batter here. So I will give you a technique here and tips. So put them here. So for our flour here, we're gonna divide them to like a three portion here. So I just use this, oops. Four spoon here. So, so the important, very important way to fold is you're gonna do like a J shape like I learned from like a sister here. So you're gonna pull down underneath and then go down. You pull it underneath and you go down. So you kind of scoop it in and you go down. Underneath, straight down and go underneath. of it in here.
so you see all the almond flowers is already mixed in so now we're going to do a bubble splash um, to make sure we get all the bubble out here so this technique again I learned from my god sister G Holly so shout out to uh, for your um, G Holly and Jimin Jun for your guidance and inspiration because of you guys um, I learned it to start to bake so thank you so much and now I get to share with you guys so now we are going to do a, a flower form so we're gonna just you know put against the wall here so the idea is to get the bubble as much as we can All right. you can hear the popping sound so not as pretty as my master but it will do so you want to do this for like a few times here you don't want it to um, dripping batter so we need to do maybe like three times we're going to check on our batter so when you know it's ready so we're looking for like an a shape so when like a ribbon like when you're dropping it it's not like too stiff or too hard but i'll show you okay Do one more try. So I like to check my batter after I mix it. Um, I do it for like about three to run here. Check on my temperature here. So you just scoop it up and you try to drip it. It's not like very runny here, you see. So we're gonna give it another another um, here run here to kind of like softening up the batter pretty thick Check on it here. So it's running like this, so it's good to go for my version. So we're gonna put into a uh, puppy back here. So that's good for me. So So we're going to twist at the end here so it won't drop in. We're going to use a cup here to help keep it here. Down. So I want to scoop it in and Put it in here.
Alright guys, so at this point here, we have this batter. We're going to put it down here. And that is ready for us to pipe. So I'm going to show you how to pipe. So I'm going to move the camera closer here, okay? So let's put the camera. So I'm using this um, pre-template uh, mat here because uh, you, if you don't want to get this one, you can also print it out and put underneath your tray here. Just don't be like me and forget to take out the paper before you bake them because I do it all the time. So I need to have this so I won't forget. So um, you want to put in here and then we're going to start to pipe okay so i'm going to move the camera closer so you can see um the piping uh, methods so if you're new at this you don't have to like uh, pipe so quick just take your time and you'll get you get perfect at piping okay so i'm going to do a very basic um piping to show you okay and if you um very expert you can fancy and do all this twists and turn but um for this video i'm going to show you just very simple and basic easy way to pipe Do that and um, I already preheat my oven right now at, um, using convection bake so so you just have to give it a little bit of tap okay uh, don't worry about the the top part we're gonna tap it out so watch for year pretty loud um, so we're just trying to get the bubble out here and um, so I'm gonna use this tip here just to kind of like smooth out the top part here okay so it's not too bad symbol fix If you see the bubble, make sure to tap it out. And now you wonder why it costs so much for one tiny little macarons because so much work, right? So when I start to bake, I appreciate the baker because a lot of passions and love going to this little piece of cookies here. Okay, so. All right, so we didn't have a lot of bubbles, so that's very good. And as you can see, the top part is also not too bad either. You can use like the um, toothpick here um, to help us just the sharp part. Just gently dapping it, move it around a little bit. It will help smooth because we want it like a very smooth, very smooth surface, right? So what we're looking for is a smooth surface, 
the feet rise and no hollow. Some people okay with the hollowness a little bit inside, but as you try to master it, um, it's supposed to be a little bit crunch, not crunchy, but um, hard outside and soft inside. So it's melt in your mouth kind of thing. So almost there, guys. When you see it rise in the oven, when it's come out, all the hard part will go away. It's all worth it. So this method here, the French method, you have to let it air dry. If you live in a colder area, so you need to let it dry longer because it's colder outside, take a longer time for it to dry. So give and take about 20 minutes, really depend on where you locate. And the one way to test is when you touch it, it doesn't uh, leave your finger with the, the bad batter here. So if it's smooth, then it's ready to be going to the oven. So with this um, recipe, I'll do about 200, I'm shooting for 290 Fahrenheit for about uh, 15 minutes here. So, and on the bottom rack. So there you have it. So this is our first batch. So I'm gonna pop another batch here. I'm gonna put this aside to for air dry. All right, guys. So let um, I'm gonna show you here. It's a little bit dry already. As you touch it, you see there's nothing on my fingertips here. So I'm gonna put into the oven, okay? So let's put into the oven here. So let's see here. I'm gonna set it for about 15 minutes. And uh, let it run. In the meantime, I'm gonna start our filling for the macarons here and I forgot to mention earlier the tip that I use to pipe uh, the macarons is I'm using article A04 so that's round tip right here so I'm gonna use the same one for the filling so I already um, made the raspberry Swiss meringue buttercream here uh, in advance because it takes a long time to show you guys to show so therefore I already make another video for this one if you're interested you can look for this video here it's called the raspberry with buttercream meringue so the color is from the raspberry guys is no food color ending right here so it's like tastes really yummy so I'm gonna put in here so I put in a fridge um, I made it yesterday and put it in a fridge here and I just left it out for room temp to get softened before I whip it up again so it's okay if you don't use it right away, you can just um, put in a freezer and you can take it out. And if you don't plan to use it for like you know, in a week or so, you could do that here. So I'm gonna give it a little whip here. It may be like for like um, four minutes, five minutes, okay? And let's see here. So again, the temperature is really depend on how your oven is. So I do recommend you to have an oven barometer so you can see. I have this digital right here, it's about 291 right now. So um, it's best to know what inside your oven is because other people temperature oven may not be the same as yours. So it's very crucial um, in my opinion to have an um, oven barometer for this, um, especially for this particular macaron, okay? So put in here, and I use convection bake, so it's harder than usual. So if you don't have convection um, option, you can try to do like 25 Fahrenheit higher than um, the temperature that I listed here in the recipe. And you just gonna have to try it out to see what works best for your oven. So 
Um, again, I mentioned don't be discouraged. It didn't turn out the right the first time because it takes practice, just like the piping. Okay. So I think. So we trying to get the smooth texture again. I mean, this here. Um, you, I mentioned a read other video when I was making this here. Um, you can uh, do it for cupcakes filling, even for the cake frosting because it has this very smooth texture. So I think it's good. I'm gonna give it a little burn. Some okay, so let's check on our. Uh, I'm sorry, our filling here, raspberry filling here. So we try to get that smooth uh, right here. So it's very smooth. Mm. A little bit tart, sweet, buttery. So perfect for macaron because you know how macaron shell is pretty um, sweet already. So this will blending well with the macaron and they say that it tastes better when you let the macaron sit in the fridge for like a day or so so all the ingredients all it will absorb in and blend in and the butter here settle so it'll be good so i'm gonna take this one out and put in our piping back here So yeah, if you like um, my sweet buttercream merengue, you can look for the video in my channel and you can make this um, different flavor. You can make blueberry, uh, durian is a popular one with my, among my friend. So same thing, so you got the base out first, the um, sweet uh, buttercream merengue first and then you can start adding in the uh, food flavor here and I don't use artificial food um, flavoring I use trying to use the, the fresh fruit um, if I can or freeze-dried fruit if I can't ob obtain the other one so we're gonna put in our again I'm using the 804 article uh, piping tips here so I like to twist it to give that we're gonna nine minutes to go put in here it's a very very smooth texture so it's perfect for you know cakes and cupcakes not just the macarons but this is like a lot we probably won't use all of it no, or you can save it. All right, so this is side here. I can eat this all day. Oh, so good. a lot <laughs> okay we'll get this ready here so when our macarons is out we're gonna leave at room temperature to let cool down a little bit for like a few minutes like maybe 10 minutes and then we're gonna start piping because when you pipe when it's still hot it will melt the buttercream right so therefore we're gonna let it sit down and cool down a little bit here so let's uh, we still have about eight minutes left so I want to check on to see if it's fries or not guys so the most exciting part uh, is right it has feet already how exciting 
um, I love, I'm very obsessed with macarons. Sometimes I find myself sitting in front of the oven and just look at rice because like, you know you did right, right? And then the last step is like, is it hollow inside? Um, Sometimes a little bit hollow depend uh, because of temperature, can't really, we just have to experiment out and see how it goes. Now it's kind of a little bit colder. So I'm gonna let it run for 15 minutes. So you can do between 12 to 15 minutes, um, or 13 to 15 minutes, sorry. So um, I get that, see. So um, we're going to show you how to pipe in the filling here. So it's already cooled down about maybe 10 minutes or so, 15 minutes. So I'm going to bring it up here. It's put, okay, so it's kind of smooth. So um, I'm going to open one to show you to see um, how bad of hole it is. Let's break one here. So. Oh. All right, guys. So here is ours um, inside here. Pretty good, right? Okay. So it's kind of like hard shell outside, but soft inside. So a little bit. So then it should be uh, like very good texture for us here. Okay. So now, um, with that in mind, we're gonna start piping our filling here. So. We're gonna try to match here. So it's pretty similar size here. So I'm just gonna grab it here. So it's supposed to have like very smooth texture right here. That's when it's, you know, it's ready. It's not sticky on the bottom. So I'm gonna line them up here and make sure it's still, okay. Put here. Bigger, so I'm gonna use maybe for this one here. Oh, use for this one here. Hmm, this one is good. So the matching is the fun part too, wouldn't you say? <laughs> Alright, so maybe this one, eh, it's okay with this one here. So I'm gonna put it here, some extra here. Okay, so we're gonna pipe. So I have another batch back there. So we're gonna start piping here. So just a little bit, so we have a lot, but I'm gonna make a lot of this for my son's first birthday. It's coming up, so just a little bit squeeze here. Yeah. All right, it's so cute. Okay, so I like to give a little bit characteristic for my macarons here. So I'll put this aside here. So, put this aside. I'm gonna dab a little gold dust here. I'm using uh, luxury cake dust. Made in USA. Yay, support USA. Okay, so dab it a little bit here. Give it a little whoosh. <laughs> you like that? <laughs> okay, so put a little bit dust here. Just to give a little bit of texture, character here. You know, a little bit, make it more fancier. So if you don't like it, you can leave it aside. Okay. 
Now for the shelf, usually I add in like the freeze-dried raspberry powder that I grind it out from the freeze-dried fruit um, itself, but I'm out so I didn't show it in the video. But if you just start out, you can just do the basic first, which I just did to show you. And then once you get a hang of it, you can be creative with it. You can add in, you know, like you can do uh, pistachio and you can do like uh, raspberry. You just have to get the freeze dry. <clears throat> I just get Target. You just have to go into pesto and mortar and then you just add it in. All right, there you have it. Um, very pretty, pretty, pretty little macaron shell here. A um, little bit gold dust just to give us a kick, right? Just give it a kick here. It's like gorgeous, so pretty. And I'm gonna put a closer view for you too. So, print, stack it up, stack it up. You don't have to put a lot of filling, but I really like the filling, so I kind of like be a little bit more than usual. <laughs> but look at that. Can you see the feet rising? Perfect, right? And then the, um, the filling in the middle here. And it can be a room temperature for a good amount of time. So I'll put in here to show you. Alright guys, so there we have it and so this is our macarons here and thank you so much for watching. If you like my video, please subscribe to my channel um, so I can make more video for you guys and hit like if you do like it. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll try my best to answer um, your questions and um, let's have a good bite for this one. I love the shell because I break one right here to show you. So let's see how good it is. Mm. Let us say the tartness and the sweetness blend in very well. All right, thank you so much again for watching. Bye bye. See you next time.